Hi guys, and welcome back to Sherman Foods, where we have fun with food. In today's video, I will be discussing three basic things that you need to know before you start dehydrating your own snacks. So come along and I'll tell you the basic facts. Here I am in front of my handy dandy dehydrator to give you tip one. You want perfect produce whenever you are dehydrating something. So you don't want something that's overly ripe. You want it to be firm and just something yummy with great color. That's what you're gonna wanna put in here. You can dehydrate almost anything, but to get the best results, you want to use the freshest produce. So for tip two, it's important that you cut your fruits and vegetables in consistent thin slices. So to be able to do that, I use this, um, what is it? The Full Star Mandolin. It's great because it does have these different features here and you can just do pretty much anything with it. You don't have to worry about making sure each one is perfect because the slicer will just do it for you. So that is super important. Invest in a slicer if you're gonna be dehydrating food. The reason why you want thin, consistent slices is because with the dehydrator, it uses air to circulate and dry out the produce. So when you have different sizes in there, it's gonna take different times for each of those slices. But if it's all the same, you're gonna have all of your produce done at the same time. My last tip, tip three. This is um, something that I've learned over time. Make sure when you do put your produce on that you check it every few hours. I've had some recipes tell me to do it for, you know, six hours and it came out too crispy. I should have stopped it at five. And then some recipes told me to go to six hours and I had to extend it out to 10 hours. So it's always good to keep an eye on your produce just to make sure you get that perfect crisp level that you're looking for. Make sure to follow these three tips and you'll be sure to have a delicious dehydrated snack enjoyed these tips and are interested in food preservation go ahead and subscribe and like this video be sure to hit that notification bell because we do post videos every Friday and you don't want to miss out on the fun thanks for watching y'all